Hi guys, so today's video is going to be a list of 15 different gift ideas for the book lovers in your life. Before we get started, let me know in the comments down below what gift ideas you personally have found to be really good for readers. That way at the end of the video, if they end up being some of the same things I mentioned, that just kind of reaffirms that these are fun gifts for readers, but if they're different, that gives people even more ideas of gifts. Jumping into it, the first gift idea would be Bluetooth shower speakers. This gift is perfect for readers that love to listen to audiobooks, especially if they're somebody who is short on time and they really find they don't have tons of time to sit and read. Audiobooks for one are great for that, but in the morning when you're taking a shower is a perfect opportunity for you to listen to something because you're really not engaging your brain in a lot of activity that requires a lot of thought. So having a Bluetooth speaker in the shower, a water resistant speaker, you can connect it to your phone and you can listen to audiobooks when you're getting ready in the morning or when you're unwinding at night. The best part about this gift is it's very versatile and even if you get this gift for a book lover, if they have a spouse or kids or siblings who also maybe like to listen to music or things like that, it can be kind of a gift for the entire family and on top of that, they're quite affordable. I've seen some that are less than $15, you can get them in different colors. So all around, it's not only a good gift for readers, but it's just kind of a good gift in general. The next book idea would be custom book jackets. A lot of people, even when they absolutely love a book, they don't necessarily love the cover. And if it's a hardback book worth a removable sleeve, you just end up taking the cover off. But they make really, really fantastic special edition sleeves. You can buy the sleeves just by themselves, so you don't have to pay the money to buy the books, you just buy the sleeves and they look absolutely gorgeous. I found one in particular called Juniper Books and they make absolutely gorgeous book sleeves. These look really fantastic when you have an entire series, but overall they look so fantastic all together and they have a big range anywhere from classics to fantasy. The next gift is one that is very functional and you can end up finding these sometimes for very cheap and that would be tote bags. They make book themed tote bags, but you don't even have to do that. If you wanted, you can combine this person's other interests along with it. And the reason that it works so well for book lovers, I know for myself personally, anytime that I am going to my local used bookstore or if I'm going to donate books, I like having these durable bags that I can use and reuse and take these books in. Along those same lines, it's really nice to take a tote bag with me when I go to the bookstore because that way if I happen to get some books, I don't have to worry about wasting their bags, using bags that I don't need because I can just use my own bag. Plus, tote bags can be used in basically any situation besides just books. So just like with the shower speakers, they are not even just for book specific things. They're for that, but you can also use them for a variety of other things. The next gift idea similar to the shower speakers would be Bluetooth headphones. I find for myself that pretty menial tasks like laundry or doing the dishes or dusting, anything like that, it's a perfect time to listen to audiobooks, but it is really frustrating when I have to worry about having these cords and sometimes I'm worried about the cord getting wet or sometimes I don't have pockets so I can't really have my phone with me and it's so nice if I'm doing all these chores around my house or if I'm at the gym working out you can just have these wireless headphones so nice you don't need to have your phone on you you don't even need to have it right next to you just somewhere in your house and you can listen to audiobooks plus Bluetooth headphones are just convenient in general, you can use them to talk to people, you can use them to listen to music. So just like a lot of these other gifts, they have a variety of other uses. This next gift idea is perfect for book lovers that you know who love to read when they first wake up or when they're about to go to sleep, which is a lot of us. And that would be a little bedside organizer. This isn't perhaps the most exciting of gifts on this list, but for myself personally, I so want one of these and they're pretty inexpensive, but it's so nice because I find for myself, I always end up pulling a desk chair next to my bed to put a book on, to put my laptop on, to put my iPad on. I just always end up accumulating a bunch of things right next to me. And it's so nice if I had one of these, I can just keep my book there. I can keep a Kindle there for those people that like Kindle reading. You can keep anything of that sort right next to you. And on top of it, you can keep your phone if you read on your phone and you can keep a drink, a beverage, which is so nice because a lot of 
People who like to read also like to drink coffee or tea. It's just like a whole package, even though it seems so simple and it's quite inexpensive, it's so functional. Speaking of people who like to read on Kindle, if you know somebody who loves to read in the bath, then getting some kind of bath tray that props up these kinds of devices like iPads, Kindles, Nooks, those sorts of things is a fantastic gift. And if you really love this person, you can also get them a bath pillow and then kind of make it a whole kit. And there are even some little Etsy bookish themed shops that sell bath bombs that are inspired by book things. The scent is supposed to represent something from a popular book. And if you can find one that goes along with a book, you know this person loves, it's like the ultimate relaxation bookish kit. The next idea would be foreign editions. This one is a little specific because you have to know that the person you're buying a gift for likes to keep books. They like these different kinds of editions, but there's something about foreign editions or just different editions in general that are so fun when you like to have your favorite book in multiple copies. If you yourself are not really much of a reader and you don't really know where you can get these other editions from, the website Book Depository often has other editions and they have free worldwide shipping. There's only a small amount of countries that they don't ship to, but otherwise they ship all around the world and for free. I'll link a few of the editions that I get asked about the most often, one being these Sanderson UK editions, but also just some of the other foreign editions I have in case the person that you're buying a gift for has similar tastes to me. The next gift idea is very similar to foreign editions and that would be special editions. This is any kind of a new cover that's come out or maybe it's uh, an anniversary cover, things like Name of the Wind, Dune, any of the Sanderson anniversary editions, those sorts of things. The thing I love about these kinds of gifts is while I love books, there is a little, there's a little tiny part of me that always feels bad buying myself a special edition. So if somebody buys it for me, it's a great gift because it's a gift I want, but I don't really want to buy myself. I'll go ahead and link, just like with the foreign editions, some special editions I've seen that I think are absolutely gorgeous. The next gift idea on this list is so fun and unique, and it's very tailored to the person that you're buying the gift for, and that would be an artwork commission. There are so many amazing artists out there who do commissions for people, and if you know somebody who absolutely loves a certain series to death, they love everything to do with that series, getting them an artwork commission of one of their favorite characters is such a unique gift and it's also so specific to them. There are a few artists that I have actually chatted with before who are amazing that I'll have linked down below. I also do character art and I'm currently doing a sale right now where you can commission art from me for $35 and I'll go ahead and put up on the screen some of the different styles of artwork I've done. So if you are interested in that, I'll have a link to my website down below. Do know, however, that most character art commissions are not that cheap. Most of them are at least $100. So you probably gotta really love this person that you are getting character art done for, but it is a really great gift. The next gift idea is very straight and to the point, and that would be a reading light, specifically a chargeable reading light. I used to use this reading light that required batteries and I used it all the time and I was constantly having to spend a bunch of money on batteries because I would wear my reading light out. And then my husband got me a chargeable one. You just plug it in like you would anything else and you charge it up and that's it. It's so nice and it's so easy and it's pretty affordable too. It's something that is, again, it's not the most glamorous of gifts, but it's definitely one that a bookworm is going to use. Next on the list are book sleeves. And I'm not talking about jackets, book sleeves, like you have book jackets on books. I mean a book sleeve, which is something that you put your book inside to protect it. If you're gonna put it in your backpack, if you're gonna put it in your purse, or if you're just gonna carry it around, you have it maybe packed away in something that you're afraid will spill on it. You're afraid the pages will get bent. So it's something that's gonna protect books, especially if you know that the book lover that you want to buy a gift for is somebody who takes their books with them everywhere. This is a great gift. And on top of that, there are so many cute different book sleeves out there. So if they like plaid, if they like polka dots, if they like really sleek and kind of professional looking ones, there's 
so many out there and they're very affordable. This next gift idea is perfect for a book lover who also loves to cook and bake. It's a recipe book that somebody has made where they took a bunch of recipes from popular books and they put it all into one book. So it's literally a recipe book from books. It's very cute, it's very simple, and it's also really affordable. So you can do this with that person as well. I think that would be such a cute gift idea. Not only are you getting them this gift, but you can spend the day with them or the evening baking something and cooking something. It's just such a sweet, heartwarming little gift. The next gift idea sounds very basic, but I have found some really cool ones, and that would be bookends. The first one is customizable. You can have engravings put into it. They're decorative. They look like they would be something that you would put on a surface in your house anyway. They're that pretty, but they're also bookends, so they have a function and they're absolutely gorgeous. And the fact that you can have something engraved on it makes it so that you can make it specific to that person. I've also found some bookends that are perfect for people that love superhero comics or they just love superheroes in general, and they would be superhero bookends. They're so cute and they're so understated, but I just think it's a nice little pop of, hey, superheroes are awesome. The last two gift ideas would be bookish candles and book mugs. So a lot of times there are shops that make mugs now that have quotes on them or they have artwork on them and you can get one that is specific to a book that this person really loves. It's also great because a lot of people love to have a nice beverage with them while they're reading. And then when it comes to bookish candles, there are so many wonderful bookish candle shops out there. So, so many. I'll link some of my favorites down below. There is one that I have had the pleasure of working with. I don't get anything out of mentioning her candles. I just really love them. And she's let me come over because she lives in the same state as me and make the candles with her. And they smell so good. And they are in these cute little jars it's called Cauldron Candle Company. So they look like little cauldrons. The labels are very simple and you can get some that are from really popular books or you can get some that are more specific to just scents that you think would be good. That's it for 15 different book ideas. If you were somebody who commented at the beginning, I definitely would love to know if you ended up saying something that was on this list. And if you didn't, I'm super excited to see what ideas you have for book lovers. Also, I just wanna mention that I talked about having a discount from now until the end of the year for artwork commissions. But on top of that, I'm having an entire Black Friday holiday sale up until the end of the year on everything on my website. That includes all of my digital art prints, which are now only about a dollar, the artwork commissions, like I mentioned before, and pretty much everything to do with my book. I have some of the paperbacks on sale for around $10. The hardbacks are on sale as well. And I have the Kindle edition, it's only $2 right now. All of the physical copies of things there is a limited supply on. So if you're interested in getting any of the art prints that I have mentioned in the past that other people have done for my book, if you're interested in the paperback or the hardback, you'll want to get those quick because there's only so many left. I will have everything possible linked down below in the description bar. So if you have any questions or if you want to take a look for yourself at any of the things I talked about, that will be there. Thanks so much for watching though. I hope you all have a great rest of your day, a safe holiday to you, and I'll see you later. Bye.